it's Dina Fallick from the Marks Group, and today we're going to talk about how to send pre-filled forms to your contacts in order to have them update their CRM data. This is really convenient when you know you need your information uh, updated and you want to rely on your customers to do that for you. So in order to do this, you need to have both Zoho CRM and Zoho Forms set up. In Zoho CRM, you want to go to the settings, and under the marketplace, you want to go to Zoho, and then you want to scroll down until you can find Zoho Forms, and you want to make sure it's integrated. When it says manage, that means it's integrated, and if it says set up now, it means it's not integrated yet. Now, if we click on the manage here, you can see that with the Zoho Forms and CRM integration, you can automatically push your form data into CRM modules. So that's the integration between the two. You then have the option here to click th this toggle that says pre-population of data. Enabling pre-population of data will allow you to choose forms built using Zoho Forms and embed those links in your emails and templates. And, then, um, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So this takes care of the CRM uh, integration. Now, if we go to Forms, there's going to be two places that you're going to focus on making sure that you have things integrated properly so that your customers can pre-fill their data, their, uh, pre uh, update their pre-filled form. Um, now, I'm not going to go over how to create a form. In that, we have other videos, which I will link down below. But we're going to take this contact update form and we're going to edit it. And you can see we have a first name field, a last name field, uh, an email field, email if updated, account name, account name if updated, and phone. So the way that these fields get um, pre-populated is by this Zoho CRM field, which we're actually going to rename in a minute. Now, to find this Zoho CRM field, you're going to go into the advanced fields, and then you have Zoho CRM. Now, I'm not going to slide it over because you can only have one per form, but this is where you're going to find it. Now, within this form, you can do two things. If you click on the gear, this is where we can rename it. And I'm going to um, call this um, email um, link. Um, e I'm just going to call it email link, and I'm going to save it. And then if you go into the properties, I mean the edit, this is where you're going to get the information. Um, you're going to define how you want the pre-population to happen. Now you can see here that, um, and I already selected this, it's going to be from the contacts module. You have your choice of the leads, the contacts, and some of your custom modules. Then I'm choosing the standard layout and then I'm choosing the email field. Now you have your choice of either or any of your required fields or your unique fields that you've said you don't want duplicated. In this case, I'm going to go with email because what if people have the same last name? Then what you're going to do here, and this is important to remember that with this CRM field, you are mapping here how you want the data pre-populated. So in this case, I want the first name from CRM to populate to the first name in the form, the last name to the last name, the email to the email, account name to account name, and phone to phone. You'll notice, if I save this, that I have some of these fields, email if updated, and account name if updated. And those are going to be so that people can put in their updated information. I don't want to lose the email that I've sent this to, so I'm going to keep that email for now. The other thing is uh, the account name field in CRM. If we go to contact, so let me get to it the fast way. If I go to my contact in here, as you know, the account name is a lookup field. But when you're in your form and you're giving your users, your, your um, customers and contacts, an opportunity to update their account name, you don't want them to go into a lookup field 
and find who which account they belong to because you don't really want them to see all of the accounts that you're doing business with. So we've added this account name if updated field so they can just enter in that information. And that will become relevant in a minute. So the key here though in building the form is that you need this Zoho CRM field. You can um, name it whatever you want, but this is the field that's going to link and, and uh, sync the two together. Once you do that, you still need to go and do the integration. So it's important to remember is that the CRM field on the builder side is going to talk, define how the field gets pre-populated. Now with the integration, especially if we choose update record, this is going to say once you have the information on that form, how do you want that data to populate back into CRM? So in this case, in this form, because this is an update form, you can integrate with Zoho through a new record, related lists, and an update record. We're going with the update record. You can see here that it's automatically identifying the CRM field, which we called email link. The module is contacts, layout is standard, and the email is um, the lookup field. Now we have the field mapping. And in some cases, you're going to see things a little bit differently. So first name and last name, those go the same. Email, in the form, we have a field called email if updated. So we want the email, the form to update certain data in SOHO CRM. So we're going to actually map that email if updated to the email field in CRM. And then if the account name is updated, we've created here a single line field called updated account name. And that is what I'm going to be syncing to because I I want I don't want um, a new a new field created I want a new um, account name created I want to be able to go in then to my CRM and for anybody where this account name field is populated I want to have the opportunity to then look up and see does that account name exist already maybe the spelling's wrong you don't automatically want them to update you want to be able to do a little bit of QC work on that so here you've now so now you said account name if they've changed the phone number you can just change the phone number if you want I've chosen to attach the form that they fill out into the CRM just so I have it as reference and then I hit integrate now, using this integration, I have now integrated how I want any updates that the customer makes back into CRM. And again, with that Zoho CRM field, which was this email link field, when I go here, here I'm defining what, how I want CRM to pre-populate Zoho forms. So now that we've done that, so now if we come back here, we see we have this all set up. And now we have we want to be able to share this form. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go into CRM. We're going to go create a mail template. And we're going to go under setup and customization to the templates. And we do have other videos that talk to templates. But here I filled in a template. Um, I've created it. Now for this link field, and this is really important. When you have your data that you want to, um, I well, let's say I haven't created this. Let's I'm going to get rid of this for now, and now I'm going to create a link. I'm using this link, and the key thing here it says link type. You want to make sure that you're choosing Zoho Forms here. Once you choose Zoho Forms, it's going to have you select the form. We have the contact update form. That's the one that's integrated. Here's the link, but we don't really, you know, I trust that that's the right link. And then I'm going to say, um, click here to update your contact information, information and save it. And now I have a link that's going to go to that form in here. I'm going to save this and I'm just going to call this link. And then I'm going to go back to my contact record now. And we add in an email. Yeah, my Marks Group email in there. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Send Email. I'm going to choose the template, the prefill. And then you can see I can always add more information. And again, more on templates, um, I will provide a link. And then I will send this. So now, once this is sent, then we're going to be able to look at it in my email. And then from the email, I will be able to open up the, um, the form. So here you can see TMG Live. That's the name of our contact. I have the form here. I can click on the link. And when I click on the link, it updates. And now you can see that my first name and last name, my um, email's in here, all of that. So um, if I want to actually, just to show you, I can get rid of this field because the email is here and I can call this email. I can actually get rid of this field if I want to, but I just want you to, for illustrative purposes, show you. So now let's say I want you to um, change this to Dina Fallick at Mark's Group. Dot net. I am now at um, Mark's group and my phone number instead of being all ones which you can remember is going to be 555-555 oops I don't know how many fives I did 555-555 and then 5555 and I'm going to submit the form so now once the form is submitted I can go back into CRM I'm going to refresh, and sometimes it does take a couple of minutes before um, I can see the changes. Uh, so here is going to take a minute or two. I can go into the timeline, and in the timeline, I see that I've sent um, that the email was updated. Uh, I sent the email; it was opened, and now we're just going to wait a few minutes until it comes through takes a, few, a couple of minutes to come through. Okay, so now it came through, and I know it did because I added my last name to the, um, to the, uh, to the email address. And then you can see I added an updated account name, Mark's group, and the phone number I changed to fives from ones. And then if I go down to my attachments, you can see that the contact update form is in here as well. What I find convenient here is that I can go to the timeline and I can see that what was updated. And I know that I sent the form, the forms here, but this little section here will give me a snapshot of what's updated and that makes it a lot more convenient so I don't have to figure out, oh, what was updated. I can see that here in the timeline. So now, now that I've added a, an updated account name field, I can say, okay, this is Mark's group. So I can go in here, I can um, look and see, do I have Mark's group in here? If I search, yes, I do. So I can um, add that and then it's there. But if it hadn't been there, I can create it. And then um, what if I had spelled this without capitalizing or something like that, and then I can keep it. And if I decide, you know what, I know this is the wrong email, even though they put it, I can correct that, and I can correct this or change it if I want. But the important thing is that here within CRM, we can um, get the information, and when I open the contact form, the uh, pre-populated information was in there. So hopefully this was helpful in showing you how you can do a pre-filled form to update the CRM data with your customers. The, in addition to sending the email individually, you can also, if we go out to contacts here, I can send this email to everybody. So I can go send email like I would any mass template and choose that template and then send it out to everybody. I'm not going to do that now, but I could do that. So you can send that email, um, the email template with the pre-filled form link in, in it to either individuals or everybody and then be able to do the updates. So hopefully this was helpful for you and now you know how to get your customers involved in owning the, the data that they're giving you and giving them the opportunity to correct that data. If you have any questions and want to contact us, please contact us 
at info at marksgroup.net. Thank you.